The Garda Commissioner says the Garda will begin to deploy body cameras from the middle of next year and all frontline Garda will be issued with stronger pepper spray and more personal safety equipment. Drew Harris will also tell the Oireachtas Justice Committee this afternoon that the Garda have already begun making changes to operational policing in the wake of the riots in Dublin city centre last week. The Garda Commissioner described the riots in Dublin last week as the work of a minority who corrupted the suffering of others, namely the victims of the stabbing attack in an attempt to further what he called their narrow-minded and vicious agenda. Drew Harris will this afternoon outline a timeline of the events from the time of the stabbing at half one last Thursday up until order was finally fully restored at 11.30pm, seven hours after the first disruption. The Commissioner says he fully appreciates the hardship and damage caused by the extreme violence of what he called these thugs, but says other capital cities have had similar such disorder and been shut down for days. However, he also said it's clear that the Guardi are now facing a different form of disorder and must evolve their tactics to address it. All frontline Guardi will now be issued with stronger incapacitant spray and more personal safety equipment, which previously has only been available to public order and armed units. More Garthi are to receive public order training. Body cameras on Garthi are to be operational from the middle of next year. Four public order units will remain deployed in Dublin city centre, along with high visibility patrols and support from specialist units throughout the Christmas period. The investigations into the stabbing, the rioting and the online agitation are continuing. The Commissioner also insisted that the Garda's approach to policing these situations will remain a graduated response. He says it's the Garda's duty and obligation to confront such individuals and the Garda have and will continue to use force to protect the public and Garda. And Paul Reynolds is standing by for us at Garda headquarters this lunchtime. So as you said there, Garda facing a different form of disorder according to Drew Harris and he's to come before the Oireachtas Committee this afternoon, Paul. What else can we expect? Well, that's correct. And I say that that opening statement will give rise to a number of questions from the public representatives. Uh, I think they will want to know why it took seven hours to restore full order to the city, because according to the timeline that the Garda Commissioner has outlined uh, in his opening statement to the committee, the first disruption took place at 4.30 on Thursday afternoon when protesters blocked the Lewis line. And then it escalated. The fire attacks began at half six. Uh, and while the Garda brought in reinforcements, uh, they didn't restore full order, the, full order to the the city till 11.30 p.m. So that's a full seven hours. Uh, the public representatives, representatives will want to know why. Uh, another issue addressed by the Garda Commissioner is the issue of equipment uh, and resources. Uh, and he, he has said that body, body cams, for example, will be operational from the middle of next year and not as originally planned in 2025. So that's uh, they've been brought forward by a year. There's also additional equipment such as uh, a stronger in, incapacitant spray and public order equipment for all frontline Garda, up to now, these had only been available to public order units. And what's also significant as well is, while he uh, accepts uh, that uh, FRT technology, they're seeking that technology and seeking new legislation, uh, that won't come in at least until next year. So the, that, that really, in effect, will not be able uh, to be used by the Garda during this investigation into the riots. Uh, but I do know that uh, senior Garda officers investigating the riots are now considering bringing the thousands of hours of CC CCTV footage uh, to another jurisdiction abroad where they can be processed through that facial recognition technology, which will enable the Gardaí to, uh, set up, uh, to, to uh, establish a list of suspects uh, that they can come back and investigate here. It will cut down the work of the investigation. And while there is no legislation here to allow them to, to uh, process FRT, facial recognition technology, here, there's no law that says that they can't bring the CCTV gathered here abroad to be processed.